So um, thanks for joining myself and Sarah. How do I pronounce your next surname correctly? <laughs> Nasrallah. Nasrallah. Um, so look, in July this year was a really significant moment. I, I really look at you know years and events and, and meets and, and think what were the significant events of this year and uh, one of the significant events uh, this this makes me look so huge so i'm just going to move back the tripod um one of the events of this year for me personally was an event which alex ran um uh, and that was um at wandsworth and it was focused on the young property professionals and it brought people to the meet who have never been before um and it was an absolutely amazing vibe and I've asked Sarah to replicate that in your own style. Um, some of the same people, but different people, also going to be on the panel the 19th of um, October. Yeah, we're bringing so, it to central London. Central Taking London. From west to central. So, <laughs> Ryan's there, Ryan Carruthers. We've got Carolina Adamchick. And we've also got someone who's never been to my meets before, uh, Harvey. Harvey Pearson. Yeah, we do. Harvey Pearson's going to be there. So he's Midlands based, talking about commercial developments. He's young, so early 20s, 22, 23, achieving a lot. I just told me about um, pulling a group together and buying an industrial park. So I think uh, he'll be interesting. So we, we were discussing beforehand. I said to, to um, Sarah, I said, look, I, I never heard of Ryan until I think January this year. And, and what really brought Ryan to Limelight was the Property Investor Awards. So, <laughs> Ryan. He wore to your panel, I think. Those legs. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Ryan won, I think, HMO Deal of the Year. Yeah, he did. He and Kim won that for their so, deal in Lincoln. So, you can see how Kim Stones is his partner, and you can see how important awards are. Um, and of course, you know, it's just a little bit of a plug for Property Investor Awards. They've got an event coming up and I'll be certainly looking at who they have um, at their event in uh, December, who, who's going to be winning. Um, and, and that was a very prestigious board of who selected Ryan um, in terms of on that board who would have selected Ryan as HMO Deal of the Year. I think you had the likes of Richard Bowser. I think it was Stephen Johnson from Shawbrook. If I remember rightly, David Sandman from the Central Information Group. Um, do you remember anyone else? There was about 12 people on that oh, board. I don't know. It was yeah, Ranjan, so Ranjan, Ranjan, yeah, Ranjan Bhattacharya as well. So, um, you know, I'm delighted that Ryan's coming down again from Lincolnshire. And as I said, July, I could not have got Ryan down if it wasn't for your help. Yeah. Um, but also, he's just finished getting the minimum raise on his crowdfunding deal as well, so a planning gain up in Lincoln. So I think he's, he's an interesting guy doing some really big and, um, and exciting stuff. And what, what, what are you doing, Sarah, yourself? So. Oh, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, put me on the spot. So I'm development focused and at the moment we're putting in a lot of offers trying to really get a site under offer this side of Christmas. So we just um, missed out narrowly and brutally it still guts me on a uh, plot of land with planning to build three houses so we were close direct to vendor is is a lot of the stuff we're looking at so that's where we're at one other name who will be at the young property professionals event is uh, carolina adamchik who focus is on interior design and she also had a fantastic event which was a regatta yeah, you were on sailing regatta. you were supposed to be there sure yeah. <laughs> Uh, maybe next year you know um, so that's on the 19th of October and that's what I'll be focusing on partly this month on um, also I'll be focusing on the National Development Summit I was just discussing with Sarah what the tickets are um, and, and just something to make clear is the earlier you book the less you pay so right now um, tickets I think 47 pounds plus an event break booking fee for the one day summit the last two one-day summits have attracted about 100 in the room. So it's a, a phenomenal amount of people to network with, connect with. In terms of content, you're looking about six hours worth of content. So I know you're definitely going to be there. It's on Saturday, 20th of January, Crown Plaza, Blackfriars. Um, and I just want to say, look, Darren Kirby, if you're, if you're listening, 
Um, <laughs> well, I, I think it's phenomenal. We were discussing the time which Darren achieved. I think it was about 10 hours 50. Completed an Iron Man, Man yesterday. Man, yeah, yesterday. So that's, that's one thing I've been uh, listening to on my Facebook Lives, just listening to Darren. Um, I'm doing my best to get down to speak at some point so look you, you, you never know but uh, I just want to say huge thanks to Darren I just want to also say a huge thanks to a few other people as well um, the other co-host for the events this month so you it is this month now strange to think it's October the 1st but today is um, so you've got the likes of Luke Skelton who's co-host in the morning me um, huge thanks for getting up really early in the morning um, and he always gets there about the same time as me if not before um, I have to admit he gets there before me um, so Luke Skelton um, huge thanks Luke Hamill who's my co-host for the Central London Evening Meets introduced me to the speaker for the morning meets he's Stephen Green um, interesting background you find out more about his background through the video uh, phenomenal interest in the video I did with Stephen and I'll be sharing that more so in in um, October it's still strange think it's October so it, it, the, I've got goals to hit by yeah the, the, year. the year is flying so quickly and that's why it's so important to get and so say the 20th of January in your diary right now the other key person to thank is Nicholas Nicholas Marshall who will be co-hosting the Wandsworth property me so I know it's your first time Sarah um, co-hosting Central London and evening meet. Alex. Alex, yeah. Um, uh, you know. <laughs> What's he doing? Getting married or something? I think so. In October, <laughs> I know he's coming to November Central London evening meet. He's presenting. A, um, you know, did want to get Alex um, presenting at some point before the end of the year. Um, and what what will Alex be talking about? That's what we've got to finalise. I'll be speaking to Luke H, um, Luke Hamill. Uh, one thing which Alex has done certainly is build a tribe and I think personally whatever Alex says he's built a tribe very quickly as well um, and focusing on how he's built that tribe you, you see how people build tribes though um, Nicole's built a tribe um, slightly different uses to different technology although you see the importance of awards as well as I say um, building profile I think that's something that Ryan will, uh, will touch on I'm sure yeah so um you know ryan certainly has got himself more visible this year through winning that award um that's it for the moment it's, I'm it's getting his legs out. yeah it, it's it's freezing cold where i am so uh so um Over and out. yeah thank 